Hello to all traders and welcome back to another Algo Builder X tutorial. In this new video, we will explore how the grid strategy works, illustrating its use in a responsible and conscious way. In addition, we will provide practical examples for deeper understanding. It is important to note that the use of martingale and grid strategies carry significant risks in financial trading. These approaches can quickly increase market exposure and lead to substantial losses. Users are advised to fully understand the risks associated with these strategies and to use them with extreme caution. The Algo Builder X team makes no guarantee of profit or loss minimization from the use of martingale or grid strategies. Users are responsible for their own trading decisions and should carefully consider their risk tolerance before engaging in such strategies. Users are strongly advised to backtest and use demo accounts to evaluate strategies before applying them to live trading accounts. Financial trading always involves risk, and users are expected to understand and accept these risks before using any automated strategies. The grid strategy, like the martingale strategy, can be accessed from the buy execution or sell execution block in the manage advanced strategy section. This strategy is based on the distance between the current price and the entry point, determining the number of losing pips needed to open the next position. It works through a system of lot multiplication in a similar way to the martingale strategy, with the ability to set a maximum trade threshold. But let's now look at the parameters in more detail. The grid distance pips parameter determines after every how many pips in loss, a new position is opened with the lot multiplied. The multiplier parameter represents a multiplication factor applied to the initial lot. Basically, it drives the stepwise increase of each operation. The max trades parameter represents the maximum number of trades the strategy is allowed to open. When the maximum number of trades is reached, the strategy stops, avoiding opening additional positions and leaving active only those previously initiated. This stops the grid process, with no new trades and keeping only the positions currently in progress. Let us now examine a practical example of the application of the grid strategy. This CBOT opens the first position with the grid strategy when a crossing of the simple moving averages occurs. The parameters are 0.10 initial lot, 7 pips take profit, grid distance of 20 pips, a multiplier of 2, a number of max trades of 10. As we can see in the backtest, when the crossover condition comes true, the first short position is opened with 0.10 lot and the predetermined take profit. The price subsequently starts to go against our position. After reaching a negative distance of 20 pips, the second trade is opened, with a lot multiplied, thus 0.20 lots. With the opening of the second trade, the take profit is removed and made virtual. The new take profit will be calculated based on the aggregate net profit of all trades opened after the first one. These trades will be closed when their total net profit reaches zero, plus seven pips of profit. From this moment, as we can see, the price goes against us by as many 20 pips from the second trade. So a third position is opened by multiplying the lot of the second trade by the value of the multiplier. 0.20 lot from the previous trade, multiplied by 2. The third position will be opened by 0.40 lots. Then every negative 20 pips a new trade will be opened with an increasing lot. This process is repeated until the predetermined maximum trade limit is reached. If a maximum limit has not been set, the strategy may consume the entire margin of the account. It is critical to stress the importance of using such strategies with extreme caution, given the high risk associated with the possibility of losing your capital. Watch the next video tutorial if you want to learn more about ABX. Custom Strategies, Made Easy.